with profound humble gratitude and love to all venerated enlightened masters. We bow to the Almighty in soulful gratefulness for gifting us with their holy blessed presence. May all beings be awakened by their divine grace. Part 4 of 4 Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Narrow is the way that leads to life. Broad is the way that leads to destruction. And so many will walk therein. It is because the road and the way to it is contradictory to our way of thinking and to the worldly desires and temptations. We have to live in this world with all temptations and struggles and yet we have to keep discipline and purity like the lotus born from the mud but so pure and clean and so fragrant. Please stay with us for this enlightening lecture. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Eating meat is primitive, barbaric, and arrogant. Ingrid Newkirk, vegan. We can do it. There are 211 countries and regions which have animal people protection laws. Obey the law of your country. No more animal people slaughterhouses. No more hurting. No more murdering them to eat, to lab test, or for any reason at all. Be vegan. Make peace. So be it. Today's program will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, or Laxis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, Thai and Ukrainian or Uranian. <music> Greetings, generous viewers. May the sun's golden rays remind us of the divine light from above as we strive to return to our heavenly home. I am Naomi. The vibrant people of St. Eustatius would like to congratulate you on going vegan and living a kind, compassionate way of life. Our animal friends will surely thank you. St. Eustatius, also nicknamed Stasia, is a small Caribbean island and a special municipality of the Netherlands. As a busy trade center in the 18th century, it was called the Golden Rock. St. Eustatius today is quietly picturesque with some 3,200 people who live amidst its green hills and plains. The island has incredible biodiversity with many globally endangered or vulnerable species, including whale and sea turtle people.
offshore coral reefs teemed with rare and exotic marine life like the queen angelfish and flying gurnard people. To preserve their miraculous environment and ecosystems, a national park, a botanical garden, and the entire marine area surrounding the island have been established as protected regions. The St. Eustatius National Parks Foundation carefully monitors these natural treasures and encourages ecotourism so that visitors can appreciate them as well. The kind-hearted stations commemorate their heritage through events like Stacia Day, a tribute to the island's first salute to the United States. This historic gesture in 1776 was the first recognition of U.S. sovereignty under the leadership of His Excellency George Washington. Local art and culture are also celebrated in Asia with carnival full of brightly costumed processions, song and dance. World Peace Leaders, be vegan. Saintly wise, lead your nations. God will bestow on you liberation. Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan is a world-renowned spiritual teacher, humanitarian, and artist. She has been invited to lecture on the Kuan Yin method of meditation throughout the world. We now invite you to view Walk the Way of Love in introduction to Supreme Master Ching Hai. We'll search high and low for a little love, for a little love to bestow on all beings in all corners of existence. Supreme Master Ching Hai, Vegan Supreme Master Ching Hai, as she has affectionately become known, leaves a message that walks the way of love. A renowned humanitarian, artist and spiritual visionary, her love and assistance has extended beyond all cultural and racial boundaries to people around the world, the needy and homeless, institutions of medical research, war veterans, the disadvantaged, the physically and mentally handicapped, refugees and victims of natural disasters, etc. We witness countless reminders of the compassion, the trademark of this caring lady and the international foundation that has grown out of her loving example. Whatever we can share, begin with sharing. And then we will feel a subtle change in ourselves. More love will be pouring into our consciousness and we will be aware of something. And that is the beginning. We are here to learn to grow as well as to learn to use our power, our limitless power of love and creativity in order to make a better world wherever we happen to be incarnated. Don't worry, don't worry, I pray for you, okay, honey? Not only are human beings the blessed beneficiaries of her kindness, animal people from different species are also the recipients of her boundless benevolence. Hello, you grow so big now, you. Bon appetito. I love you, good appetite. This is one of the reasons why we should be vegan. Love for all beings, extending love. Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan was born in central Olak, Vietnam. During her early years, she was often found helping hospital patients, the needy as well as injured animal people in whichever way she could. 
as a young adult, she moved to Europe to study and continued there as a translator for the Red Cross. She soon discovered that pain and suffering exist in all corners of the globe, and her search for the remedy to this became the foremost goal in her life. She was happily married at the time to a German doctor, and although it was an extremely difficult decision for both of them, her husband agreed to a separation. She then embarked on what became a two-year-plus journey in search for spiritual understanding. Finally, in the deepest reaches of the Himalayas in India, she found an enlightened master who imparted to her the Kuan Yin method, a meditation method on the inner heavenly light and sound. After a period of practice, she became fully enlightened. Soon after her return from the Himalayas, at the earnest request of those around her, Supreme Master Ching Hai shared the Kuan Yin method with others, encouraging them to look within to find their own greatness. Through the Kuan Yin method of meditation, they also attained greater fulfillment, happiness, and peace. Before long, invitations arrived from the United States, etc. I saw that I was everywhere and in every creature. Europe, to see God, is very, very simple. Asia, all religions tell you, be a good person here and find heaven while you can. Australia, we are the sons and daughters of God. We are ourselves, the Supreme Master. Africa, I will show you how to get direct teaching. And South America, and keep the commandments and try to lead a more vegan life. As well as from important organizations for Supreme Master Ching Hai to give lectures. The peace and love that we most often talk about and seek, we have within ourselves. You must look inside and find your own treasure and find the real lasting happiness. The future is in our hands, so you make it beautiful or you make it worse, it's up to you. Supreme Master Ching Hai has realized many spontaneous talents that she expresses through artistic paintings and creations, music and poetry, and aesthetic jewelry and clothing designs, expressing the inner and outer beauty. The income generated from her artistic creations has enabled Supreme Master Ching Hai to create an independent source of funding for humanitarian activities in support of her noble mission of assisting God's children in their times of need. Although she does not seek acknowledgement of any kind, Supreme Master Ching Hai has been given awards worldwide by government officials and private organizations on numerous occasions. They include the World Peace Award, the World Spiritual Leadership Award, the Award for Promotion of Human Rights, the World Citizen Humanitarian Award, the Award for Outstanding Public Service to Mankind, the 2006 Gusi Peace Prize, the Los Angeles Music Week Certificate of Commendation and first place silver for the 27th Annual Tele Awards 2006. In addition, October 25th and February 22nd have been proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day in the United States. She also brings love around the world where there is hate. She brings hope where there is despair. And she brings understanding where there is misunderstanding. She is the light of a great person, an angel of mercy for all of us. Agradecer a la Suprema Maestra su liderazgo agradecerle su optimismo, agradecerle ese don de gente que tiene que la hace tan única y tan especial. Una impresión muy grata de ver un corazón tan noble, tan dispuesto a servir, 
Ella está sirviendo a todos los seres humanos, está sirviendo al planeta para salvarlo, para rescatarlo. Tiene un corazón noble, pero también un gran liderazgo. Sé que van a suceder las cosas que tienen que suceder. Supreme Master Ching Hai is one of the truly dedicated people of this era, helping others find and create a beautiful vision of our future. Many great people in history have had a dream, and in her own words, so does Supreme Master Ching Hai. A dream that all the world will become peaceful. A dream that everyone becomes the Buddha. A dream that all the killing will stop. A dream that all the children We walk in peace and harmony, a dream that other nations shake hands with each other, protect each other, and help each other. A dream that our beautiful planet will not be destroyed. It takes billions, billions, trillions of years to produce this planet, and it's so beautiful, so wonderful. I dream that it will continue, but in peace, beauty, and love. There are 211 countries and regions which have animal people protection laws. Bulgaria is one of them. Bulgaria, Article 325A of the Penal Code. In Bulgaria, anyone who organizes fights with animal people or provides animal persons for fights shall be punished with up to five years imprisonment and a fine of up to 5,000 euro. Obey the law of your country. No more animal people slaughterhouses. No more hurting, no more murdering them to eat, to lab test, or for any reason at all. Be vegan. Make peace. So be it. The United States has been graced on many occasions with visits from Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan. In 1989, in response to the earnest longing of the spiritual truth seekers, she traveled to the country to impart her wisdom and insights. In this illuminating lecture, Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan sheds light on various topics, such as relying on the inner power for self-discipline amid societal pressures, discovering humility through wisdom, overcoming the fear of death, and the essence of true meditation. We now invite you to join us for part five of this enlightening lecture titled Discover Real Meditation Through Transmission by a Real Master given by Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan in San Francisco, California, USA on May 25th, 1989. Peace for Ukraine or Ukraine. Có một người thanh thanh, môi đỏ và mắt xanh, khe nhìn như trăng rằm, nụ cười thơm như trời. Cho ai về thao thức, muốn nói mà lặng câm, muốn nhìn mà quay mặt, khép nếp tình trăm. So what is it that makes one so humble? It is the great, the vast knowledge of the universe that one could never understand enough that makes one humble. When, for example, when we are in primary school, we learn how to add numbers, like four and four makes eight and three and three make six. And later we learn more complicated things, like uh, one tomato is three dollars, so if I buy three tomatoes, uh, how much? And then later uh, somebody else buys again for me one tomato less, <laughs> so I have only two. So now how much do I have to pay? And how much that person? 
and all this kind of complication. And if we have solved this mystery, and we feel very proud, and we come home and tell our parents how great we are at school, then we can make one tomato less and two tomatoes more without any problem. And we can make numbers working and running, and we feel so proud. And this is our small accomplishments, and we feel very proud. And later, when we go to high school and college, this petty pride will <laughs> wash itself away because we know this is so little. We know, is that not so? Yes. Similar things. Those who practice very little, they boast a lot. They like to let people know they have superpower and demonstrate it in public. I write books about it <laughs> and charge people money for it. Of course, that is the ultimate. Okay, I cannot forget that. <laughs> But those who practice at a very high level, <laughs> they cannot use this thing anymore. They feel ashamed if they ever have to use it, if they are even forced to use it. Remember the story of Moses when he came back to his kingdom before, huh? He was banished for a while, and he went to the desert, and then he did not die. And then he had seen God, and he had seen the flame, and he heard the thunder. Remember, as this is the inner vibration and the inner light. So now we know if we practice this method. Before I did not know what it means. Why is God's voice like thunder? <laughs> and then why is it he appears like a big flame? It sounds so terrible, so scary. But no, the fire isn't the fire. And the thunder isn't the thunder. The thunder is so soothing that we will want to listen to it again and again. It's not the thunderous and boisterous outside thunder, but it's the inner one that heals all kinds of sickness and ignorance and arrogance and all kind of misery. But I may inform you, the thunder inside even is not the highest sound that you should listen to. It's only one of those. Uh, high beginners. Uh, there are others which are more enchanting, more wisdom offering, and I think I don't know how to explain. Is everything in it? Now I just forgotten what is that? Why where I was before? I'm getting old. What was it? <laughs> Moses. Yeah. Now when Moses came back to the king, he was showing off his. Miracles. He make the stick become the snake. Oh, and then afterward he repented. He said, "I'm sorry. Forgive me, God, for misusing your power." And that is the attitude he should have in the beginning, anyway. And remember the story of Jesus when he went to the marriage party, huh? And he had to make wine out of water. Was he so willing and so proud and so immediately doing this? No, no, he wasn't. He even slightly so-called scolded his mother. Why have you disclosed this thing to people? Is that not so? Yeah, he blamed his mother for being so kind of how you say. Advertising.、Uh, yeah, actually, talk too much. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Actually, in this modern language, we may say like that: talk too much. But actually, because he respected his mother, and his mother already prepared everything, so he told the people, fill the jugs with water. He was forced into this situation, and he was so embarrassed. Yeah, that is the attitude of the wise. When they have to do these unavoidable things. In unavoidable situations, they feel very ashamed, not proud. That is the way to discern between a real and a false master. The false master always advertises their small, petty, <laughs> miraculous power. The real master never. If he has to do it, he does it in secret. Only the disciples know, and only when necessary, in order to help the disciples out of some awkward situation, or to heal their sickness, or to help them mentally, or to help them in their spiritual progress. 
and the disciples know so well how great their master is, and they know very well. They alone know. No wonder when Jesus or Buddha were alive, people were worshiping them like God, because they knew how great the masters were. Only they knew, and so the outside people looked at them, worshiping them, their masters like God, worshiping them more than the average priests and monks or other so-called prophets. Then they became jealous. They became angry. So arose all kinds of、uh, attacks and harm to them. If only these. Real masters demonstrated to the people at large how great they are and how many kinds of miraculous power they possess. Then you could imagine how many people will run to them. They don't have to do anything more. Do not have to spend so much money. Just go on TV and do some tricks. Yeah, and that would be enough. I heal some sick people in front of thousands, and that will be. The end of their mission. Everybody would come to their feet, and no need to do any more advertisement, and no need to work so very hard and run from one place to another. But they are not to do that. They cannot. They are not in a position to do so, and they are so humble to do so. They cannot even imagine doing such thing. That is the problem. But only their disciples know how great they are, and any kind of power. The master does possess. There is nothing in this universe that doesn't belong to a real master, like Jesus or Buddha, or anyone that has attained their level. The whole universe is their home. Every living thing, every grass belongs to them, and obeys them at will. But they do not exercise this authority on anything. Because they have the quality of God, and God is free will, freedom, live and let live, love and love only. No pressure, no pushing, no controlling, no hinting, no tricking, no using any power to convert people, but using wisdom, logic only, in order to appeal to their own wisdom. So that they themselves awaken, they awaken themselves, not by any power or hypnotism. The master can hypnotize, can do all kinds of power, all kinds of miracles, but they don't, because they came from God, and God is all free. God is not interfering with people's business. God doesn't mess around, mess in others' affairs. He lets you alone to decide which path you follow, which way of life you choose, and which realm you want to enter. You want to go to heaven? Has it opens. If you want to go to hell, it's also free of charge. <laughs> But the road to heaven, the road to heaven is difficult to follow, because narrow is the way that leads to life. Broad. Is the way that leads to destruction, and so many will walk therein. Why is it the road to God is so narrow? Some even say it's like a razor's edge, no? So sharp and so difficult to walk on. It is because the road and the way to it is contradictory to our way of thinking and to the worldly. Desires and temptations. We have to swim in the ocean, but also have to protect our clothes from getting wet. That's how hard it is. We have to live in this world with all temptations and struggles, and yet we have to keep discipline and purity, like the lotus, born from the mud, but so pure and clean and so fragrant. And that's how we have to become, to become saint in hell. In Buddhism, there is a saint. Legend has it that he is forever in hell, because he vowed to save the sentient beings in hell. 
Now, we imagine no one can live in hell because hell is so hot, full of fire and all kinds of punishments. How can a saint, a bodhisattva, it means a Buddha of the second degree, can live in hell and forever live there? It is possible by the force of compassion and the power of love, you become immutable to any harm and to any traps. An ordinary person, if we go to hell, we immediately get burned and we cannot bear the heat of it. But a saint or anyone who practices the saintly path can go there and visit and have no harm. It is because of the protection power from the Master. It means uh, God's protection. Now we all know that we all have God inside, because God is within you. <laughs> we are told like that in the Bible. Then why couldn't we find Him? Because we are too busy. We have no time to make contact with Him. And whenever we have time, then we go to church. And then we talk a lot, we sing a lot, <laughs> also busy. Busy looking at the words in the Bible, otherwise we will sing it wrong <laughs> or do some rituals wrong, making the priest angry. So we are always busy with the outside performance and have no room to have an intimate talk with God. Therefore, we cannot find Him. That is the only secret. Chẳng nên lời, hãy nhìn trong đời mắt bao sóng tình lên khơi. Tình vui hàng mỹ dược, tình nồng đôi cánh mây. Người ơi, người ơi, người ơi. Russia, leave Ukraine or Ukraine now. Peace be with you too. World leaders, wake up from slumber. Be a peace vegan leader. Your souls will be free forever. Tomorrow, on words of wisdom. Now the Buddha say, saving sentient beings, but doesn't save sentient beings, because if they still have a sense of saving anyone, that means they are not completely liberated from the ego from the self-centered sense of existence. They cannot contain the limitless, endless, boundless, infinite power of God if they still have a sense of self, because the sense of self limits everything. And then you cannot contain the limitless if you are limited. And that is the logic of it. So in order to become a co-worker with God or a messiah, or the master soul, you must become limitless like that. Vegan side effect. Your bank manager thinks you had a raise. Happy viewers, thank you for your presence today for Words of Wisdom. Please join us again tomorrow for Discover Real Meditation Through Transmission by a Real Master, Part 6 of 11, Questions and Answers. Coming up next is Man Eating Plants, How a Vegan Diet Can Save the World, Interview with Jonathan Spitz, Vegan, Part 2 of 2, right after Noteworthy News. May God bless you for the kindness you show to humans and non-humans alike.
Be vegan. Make peace. Do good deeds. Heaven Godspeed. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash WOW. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique WOW. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada WOW. Наші програми пропонуються на багатьох мовах. Будь ласка, завітайте suprememastertv.com Касаріска Schedule і suprememastertv.com Касаріска WOW.